Hello, everyone. It's Mammy's here, and today I'll be reading "Hooray for Halloween: Curious George" by Margaret and H. A. Rees. Let's get started. "Hooray for Halloween: Curious George" by Margaret and H. A. Rees. Let's get started. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were on the way to the, a party at Mrs. Gray's house. George could not wait. He liked parties, and he was looking forward to seeing Mrs. Gray. But when the door opened, George did not see Mrs. Gray at all. He saw a witch. "Don't be afraid, George," said the man with the yellow hat. "This witch is our friend." The witch took off her mask. It was Mrs. Gray, after all. Oh dear, she said. Did I forget to tell you this was a costume party? George had never been to a costume party before. Inside, he saw more people that he knew. They were all wearing costumes. There was his friend Bestie, dressed up like an astronaut. And was that Bill? Why, he looked just like a mummy. George wanted to wear a costume too. I have some dress-up clothes upstairs," said Mrs. Gray. "Would you like to use them to make a costume, George?" Mrs. Gray took George to a room with a big trunk filled with clothes. "Borrow anything you like, George," she said. "I have just the thing for your friend downstairs." She tried on lots of costumes. The first was too big. The next was too small. Another was too silly, and this one was too scary. At last, George found a costume that was just right. George was a radio cowboy. He wore a vest and pants with fringe. He even had a lasso and a hat. If only he could see himself in the mirror. George was curious. Could he see himself if he stood on bed? No, he needed to jump higher. George pounced on the bed, just a little, but still he couldn't see. He bounced a little more and a little more. Crash! George bounced off the bed. He smashed into the night table and got tangled up in a tablecloth. Suddenly, everything went dark. George heard the people downstairs gasp. What was that? Was that a ghost? A ghost? George did not want to meet up with a ghost alone. He dashed out of the room and down the hall. He wanted to get back to his friend in a hurry, and he knew the fastest way. He hopped onto the stair rail and sailed, whoosh, down the stairs. It is a ghost! Someone screamed. Everyone turned. They looked scared, and they were looking at George. The ghost must be right behind him. George flew out of the rail and landed, plop, in the arms of a farmer. But this wasn't really a farmer. It was his friend. The man with the yellow hat. Soon, everyone stopped looking scared, and started to laugh. That's not a ghost. That's a cowboy. Laughed the policeman. That's not a cowboy. That's a monkey. Giggles a princess. That's not just any monkey, said Bestie. It's Curious George. Everyone clapped and cheered. They liked George's Halloween trick. You gave us a good scare, George," said Mrs. Gray. "And I'm glad to see you found some interesting costumes. Now, why don't I take your ghost outfit so you could join the party?" After the guests bobbled for apples, lit jack o' lanterns, and played some party games, prize for the best costumes. Were handed. There was one prize for Bestie and one for Bill, and two for Curious George. 
You were the best ghost and the best cow, old George," said Mrs. Gray. Everyone had a good time at the party, especially George. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. Good night, George. Happy Halloween. The end. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and ring the notifications bell for more videos and to let you know when we upload more videos. So keep it cool and uh, it's almost it's almost uh, it's almost Halloween. I thought it was Christmas. So happy Halloween! Bye. Ooh.